everybody, welcome to the ROG Show. I'm Lucian, and this is Hot Fix News. First thing today, normies have been invading Twitch. So we saw recently Summit 1G played Fortnite with Jake Paul. Uh, this caused, as you may imagine, a lot of controversy in his chat and opened a broader conversation about Twitch in general in terms of whether or not normal people or normies should be coming into the platform and kind of interrupting what's going on. So, you know, Drake guest starred on Ninja's stream, now Jake Paul and Summit 1G have been playing together. How do you guys see Twitch as a platform and what do you think about gaming in general? It's obviously becoming more mainstream. Do you think that that process is Good? Bad? Inevitable? Let me know in the comments section down below. NBA 2K just had a draft, like an official draft, like the NBA had a draft for NBA 2K, the video game. Very cool. Check it out. I'll put the information down below. Um, basically, there's about a hundred or so players. A lot of them will get six-month contracts. They'll be making uh, 32,000 to 35,000 US dollars during that time. I believe that's for the six months. So that's like 60, 70K a year, which sounds not bad to me. Um, it's low compared to like basketball stars, right? It's not like LeBron James level salary, but it's very cool. And I think a big step for esports getting the traditional big companies involved in athletics starting to get into esports in a real way. Final Fantasy 15 is going to have a ton of content. Oh my gosh. Square Enix announced at PAX East that, okay, there's a lot. All right. Mod support coming in spring for the PC version. Level editor coming in fall for the PC version. Maybe for other uh, versions as well, but definitely for PC version. In 2019, they're going to have four DLC stories coming. Four additional stories. I'm really excited. So I'm going to be spending some more time with Final Fantasy and definitely we'll bring you guys updates when that content drops. Hopefully I'll have some videos definitely showing the mods um, and definitely showing the level editor. I'm super stoked for that. Uh, Dark Souls Remastered has apparently fixed some of the issues with Blighttown, the uh, frame rate issues that was notoriously occurred in Blighttown. Um, that is coming to PC next month, so keep your eyes open for Dark Souls if you're a fan. I'm not a big fan, but I'm probably going to get some of my coworkers to play it, and maybe we'll have some gameplay, some footage for you when the remastered edition comes out. Ubisoft has announced that Far Cry 5 is officially the fastest selling game in the franchise. What do you guys think? Is it worth all that hype? Okay, because there are a lot of good Far Cry games. Do you think Far Cry 5 is the best? Does it deserve the most sales? Now, this has been $310 million of spending, by the way, in the first week, which is incredible. It's an incredible financial success. But let me know, what do you guys think? It's rumored that Massive Entertainment, the studio behind The Division, has been working on a Battle Royale game. Maybe looking to cash in on the recent trend. I'm not sure if it's true or not. It seems a little weird because the Division is great. We're kind of all waiting for the Division 2. I'm not sure if they would have a separate Battle Royale game like in between Division 1 and Division 2 or maybe Division 2 is like a Battle Royale game. I'm not sure. So take this with a huge grain of salt. I'm not sure that it's true. But I'd be very interested to see what massive entertainment would bring to the table in the Battle Royale genre. They're they had some really great ideas in the division regarding PvP, so interested to see if that's true, what they have to bring. Boss Key Productions, the studio behind the first-person shooter Lawbreakers, has announced they're working on a totally new game. They're not going to be developing for Lawbreakers anymore because it kind of tanked, okay? They're going to be working on a totally new game called Radical Heights, which is going to be a free-to-play battle royale shooter. We have a lot of free-to-play Battle Royale shooters now, I guess. Um, it's coming to Steam Early Access on 410. So by the time you watch this video, it should be out on Steam Early Access. So give it a try if you like Battle Royale free-to-play games. Um, I'm sure you'll be very interested in this. It looks really cool. It's got this like 80s theme to it. 
check it out if you're interested. PUBG, so, oh man, Bluehole has finally gone through with some of their threats. They have filed lawsuits against a Chinese company called NetEase, who has produced some, uh, what we would call PUBG clones. Um, basically, two titles from NetEase's catalog are allegedly infringing on Blue Hole's copyrights. So, we will update this as the lawsuit progresses, but just so you know, probably the whole industry is going to have their eyes on this. There's a lot of copying and infringing that goes on in the gaming industry right now. It has been going on forever. Um, but there haven't been so many high-profile lawsuits, so this will be very interesting to watch. Alright guys, that's the gaming news for today. I will have a separate video update about these beautiful motherboards next to me. So, uh, this is the H370 and B360 board, the Intel new Intel chipset. So, if you'd like to know information about that, in the following days, I will release a full video just about these boards, so you can check that out. I'm Lucian, this was Hotfix News. If you like what you saw, give a like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you in a couple weeks.